Good morning, everyone. Happy, happy Tuesday. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. Hopefully, everybody is having a wonderful, blessed Tuesday. Hopefully, you guys are all safe and sound and healthy and bringing in the new year the right way. <coughs> Oh, hey, Miss Tina, how you doing? How's that new grandbaby? I can't wait till my grandbaby comes. I cannot wait. But I got a little while. It's what? January, February, March, April, May. Uh, my son's first baby, my oldest son's first child isn't due until May. So... I have some time to go. I have some time to go, but that gives me time to prepare and plan and figure out how we're going to do this baby shower, which I want to do virtually, um, but we'll figure all that out later. But um, yeah, everybody come on in, like the video. If you're on Facebook, you can uh, join us on YouTube at The Hood Table. We're on um, YouTube, IG, Twitter, Stereo the hood table so please make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the hood table on youtube you said i'm gonna love it oh i know i am i know i am my sons is like don't be spoiling our baby <laughs> i'm like i promise i won't i promise i won't with my fingers and toes crossed at the same time like i promise i won't i'm not gonna spoil the baby and send them home be crying and acting a fool with you guys i would never do that no way. But yeah, you guys, I just wanted to um, talk a little bit about the aftermath of what's going on. Uh, first, I want to show you this video, which some of you probably already seen. It's only like a minute long. But um, they're praising one of the Capitol Police, you know, the Black police officer um, who uh, kind of, you know, he, well, and I kind of, but basically he was responsible for drawing away you know, a lot of the, those angry mob people, you know, away from the entrance of the Senate floor when they were rioting the uh, Capitol building. So he's being held, you know, for doing that. And a lot of people think that he should be taken care of for the rest of his life. Like <laughs> he should be able to retire early, full benefits and get taken care of for the rest of the life for his actions and for him putting his life on the line. Um, thank God he was not, you know, killed or harmed or, you know, anything seriously for doing what he did. But yeah, the person that they're, um, praising, uh, who did that, um, it was officer Goodwin. And basically he directed the mob away from the Senate, um, by allowing them to, or making them chase him up a flight of stairs. So, again, some of you guys probably already seen that video, but I just want to play it real quick. And, again, it's only about a minute long. So, let's see here. Let me pull it on over. Yeah. 
So yeah, as you can see there, yeah, that was at the Capitol. Hey Mario, what's up? Hold on. Yeah, that was at the Capitol building. Um, that was the day of the riots, you know, the day when they invaded the uh, Capitol building. Uh, that guy in that video that, you know, I just showed, basically, um, he is a, he was a Capitol Police officer, and he's being held as a hero for drawing angry mob away from the Senate floor where they were doing all the voting. And I think he deserves that praise. He really does because did you hear those uh, mob people talking about, I can take them, I can take them, let me take them, let me take them. He could have seriously been injured, you know, or killed or anything. They could have all jumped him or anything while they were trying to get to the Senate floor where they were doing the, um, while they were doing the counting of the electoral votes. Um, but yeah, they said he's being hailed as a hero uh, for keeping the angry mob away from the entrance of the Senate floor um, as rioters smashed their way into the U.S. Capitol. And as you've seen that viral that I just showed, it went, uh, that video that I just showed went viral. Um, the officer was seen, you know, glancing to his left and noticed the unobstructed hallway to the Senate as he was chased up a flight of stairs. Um, the officer identified as Eugene Goodman at first tried to block an open door before realizing he was alone and being pursued. So what he did was he led them away from the Senate floor, um, had them basically chase him up a flight of stairs to where he knew there were more police. So that, that's what he did. But yeah, you can hear that mob screaming, talking about, I can take them, I can take them, let me take them. And then once they got in there, they were like, this is our America, this is our America. Those people, they, oh my God, a lot of them has already been arrested. A lot of them has already been arrested. Um, you know that they're uh, trying to get the president impeached. They was, He was impeached before. But um, they didn't do it. You know, basically, uh, they tried to impeach him before, 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 before but um, it didn't happen. Um, a lot of those people who were responsive were ex-military or former military, former police. There was actually an active duty military female officer who was also involved in being investigated for leading 100 people to the Capitol. An active duty military police, female police officer is currently being investigated as well for leading a hundred people to the Capitol. Very, very high profile people were involved with this. Um, the, the way it happened, you can just tell from the way it happened that it was planned, um, that people you know involved in the military helped plan it, the way they were scaling those walls and climbing up those walls. Some of those people were in fatigues. So absolutely, it was planned, like planned very well, planned out to a T. They were in riot gear, weapons, ropes, pulleys, cocktail bombs. They, they were ready to take over that White House. And I mean, not the White House, but the Capitol building um, in attempts to invade the Capitol. Uh, and as far as like the electoral votes, you know, um, thank God, you know, that the aides who worked at the Capitol got those wooden boxes of electoral votes out first. Um, the mob, um, uh, were attempting allegedly to burn the electoral votes, but, you know, they were already documented on and off TV. So just like the invasion of the White House, I mean, why I keep saying White House, just like the invasion of the Capitol building, it would have been just symbolic, something that would go down in history because it wouldn't have changed anything. No matter what those people did, no matter um, how many people they attacked or how many people would have been killed, or if they would have set the whole darn building on fire, Trump would still not be reelected as president. So now, um, as the title of the show goes, um. <clears throat> you said they need to arrest more. Oh yeah, there's a lot. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people being arrested. Um, actually, uh, actually, um, uh, one of the people who, uh, one of the people who invaded, uh, the Capitol building. Uh, let's see, where did I have it wrote down? 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, one of the guys uh, who was um, who invaded or, you know, who was part of that invasion, part of that riot, he was trying to sell what he stole off of Nancy Pelosi's desk on eBay. He stole some items from Nancy Pelosi's desk and was trying to sell it on eBay. A lot of these people are putting their self out there like, first of all, what you did was totally illegal. It was terrorism. Domestic ter terrorism. Um, and <laughs> you was already on caught on television. Now you're trying to sell the shit on eBay? <laughs> that That's funny. That's funny. You said they should not impeach him before Biden is sworn in. Uh, will give Pence the power to pardon Trump. Yeah, that's what they keep saying. I don't know if Pence is going to do it, though. I don't know if he's going to do it, though. The way that it's looking right now, I mean, a lot of the people who work at the White House, they're, a lot of people want them all out of there anyway. Everybody who's been under Trump, they want them all out of there. They want them to resign. They want them to just get the heck out of the um, White House. You said Clarence Thomas, why pay for 70 buses to transport people to the Capitol? That's a damn shame. A damn shame. Whew, child. But um, as far as... uh. As far as um, the chief of police, though, um, we do see we did see how the Capitol um, police chief Stephen's son he had resigned. You know, days after the riots, the reason why he resigned, um, he's saying that basically he had requested days ahead of time for backup. That he had requested for the National Guard backup, um, but was denied. He did an interview the other day, and he said he had called upon the National Guard, requested backup days before when they knew that it was going to be something going on, going down at the Capitol building. He said that the National Guard um, that he requested to be placed on standby denied him. They denied him. This is what he's saying. Uh, he was concerned, you know, about the protests would be larger than expected. That's what he said. So he said he asked the House and the Senate security officials for permission to request that the National Guard be placed on standby. And he said they turned him down. They said they were not comfortable with the optics of declaring an emergency days before the protest and suggested some should un informally ask Guard officials to be on alert. So both have since resigned. So since then, uh, we're making history again. We're still making history. Um, U.S. Capitol Police announces new acting chief and is a black woman for the first time. Um, the U.S. Capitol Police have appointed a black woman as the department's acting chief following the resignation of the organization's former chief, Stephen Sun, who resigned after riots incited by President Donald Trump at the Capitol in Washington, D.C. last week. Now, Pittman, she joined the department in 2001. She previously served as the assistant chief. She was named acting chief last Friday, two days after the riots at the Capitol. She is now the first woman and first black woman to head the organization. So congratulations. Congratulations. Let me just share the screen real quick so I can show y'all her face. She is on the uh she is on the thumbnail. But I just want to show y'all her actual picture here. Uh Okay, can y'all see it pretty good? Let's see if I can make it bigger. Okay, where'd she go? There she go. Okay. Here she is. This is who they just assigned to be the new acting chief of police at the Capitol building. So congratulations, um, Officer Pittman, on being the first woman and first black woman 
assigned as the chief of police at the Capitol building. So I just want to give a shout out to her. Um, again, this what what they were trying to accomplish at the Capitol building, they didn't accomplish. The only thing they accomplished was one of their own being killed and a lot of them being locked up and their names tarnished for the rest of their lives. Their names tarnished. Now, there was a police. Okay, my bad, my bad. So there was another police officer who was um, actually killed too. And what they had said had happened to him, it, that's really sad. It's really sad. I mean, the way they did that police officer, the mob dragged and beat the police officer at the Capitol, the one that died. Uh, let me see if I can pull this picture up. Let's see, share screen. Okay. So this is a picture from the riot. A picture of the officer, the one who died. The January 6th assault on the Capitol building by a pro-Trump mob left a police officer and a rioter dead. More than 50 members of the U.S. Capitol Police were injured, including 15 who required hospitalization, most of them with head wounds. Of all the scenes of violence, one of the most intense occurring during a struggle to breach a west side door uh, was when multiple rioters dragged the police officer out of formation and assaulted them while they were trapped in the crowd. Here's how the assault happened. Shortly after 2 p.m., the mob on the Capitol's west side forced its way through the final thinly defended police barricades and reached the building's walls. Hundreds of rioters swarmed towards a west side door that's traditionally used when presidents emerge for their inauguration ceremonies. They surged into the doorways. And then not long after the struggle, rioters were captured on video pulling a Metropolitan Police officer down the stairs. In a video, some rioters can be heard urging others not to hurt him. They pulled the mob officers away, and the rioters continued to try to force their way past the police um, defending the doorway. So it was sad. They said as, a, as they pulled the officer down the stairs, face down, another rioter beat him with the American flag as the mob chanted, USA, USA, USA. Seconds later, two other men, one wearing a red hat and tactical vest, bearing a sheriff's patch, began yanking the legs of another officer who was falling to the ground. With the aid of a third man in a gray jacket, they pulled the officer down the steps as well. One rider appeared to punch him while he was on the ground. This is so sad. The thing, the, the saddest part about this is the fact that the people there was just doing their job. The people there was just doing their job. Um, they're hoping more officers will be able to share their stories with the public soon. They just feel beaten up. They're just doing their job. And that's the reason why I said the guy who they are hailing uh, for basically keeping like the mob away from the Senate floor, he deserves to be praised and he deserves um, something for that, really. Um, because he did pull it, he did put his life on the line. And so I think, you know, he should be held as a hero again for drawing that angry mob away from the Senate floor. But yeah, so I just wanted to give y'all a little update of the aftermath of the invasion of the um, Capitol building. Um, it's almost a week. It's almost a week. This happened on the 6th. It's, it's the 12th. It's almost a week since that happened. Um, some people think that they should in peace of press. Some people think they don't, like Mario said in the chat, uh, because Pence might try to party him. But what was crazy to me was how when they did a poll for Americans, when they did a, a poll for the Americans, for us, 
Only 56% of Americans felt like Trump was wrong for what he did, which was inciting a riot for inciting domestic terrorism. Only 56%. But should we be surprised? Like how many people voted for Trump? You know what I'm saying? So should we be surprised that only 56% of Americans felt like Trump was wrong for inciting the riot? Isn't that crazy, y'all? Those are the stats, the American stats, how we feel. So anyway, anyway, you guys, again, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far, a wonderful Tuesday morning. I wish you all many blessings and prosperity and good health in this year of 2021. Tonight, I am going to be live around 9 p.m. I'm going to be giving away some t-shirts, some inauguration t-shirts. So we're going to play a few games. Um, my friend make, creates t-shirts, and he's creating t-shirts for me right now as we speak. So um, tonight, I'm going to show like six, I think it's six or seven designs that they're making um for t-shirts they're all pretty different and um i'm ordering some for me i'm ordering some for my sons and uh i'm going to give some away tonight so uh hopefully <clears throat> excuse me the designs that they already have um they're getting those shirts out really really fast so basically after you win your shirt all i have to do is pay for it and then get it out to you because I'm trying to get everybody their shirts out before the 20th, you know, before the inauguration. So you guys can wear your shirts and stuff. And we're going to be live on inauguration night. We're going to be live. We're going to be partying here. I'm going to get some streamers, some balloons. We're going to be turning up. We're going to be turning up, celebrating Biden and Kamala. Um, But yeah, so those are the plans for tonight. I'm going to do a Housewives of Atlanta review, but I'm going to record it and upload it. But then later in the night, around nine, that's when I'm going to go live again. And we're going to have our little contest so I can give away, you know, some, some inauguration T-shirts, some really nice shirts um, that I'm sure you guys will like. So if you win, all you got to do is tell me what color you want, what size, and where to send it. And on that note, everybody, please, again, like the video, share the video. If you have not subscribed to The Hood Table on YouTube and you're watching from Facebook, please subscribe to The Hood Table um, it's D-A, just like it says on the bottom of my screen, D-A, Hood Table 402. And anytime you want to feel generous and want to bless your girl with a little, little something for the commentary that I give each and every day, well, almost each and every day, and entertainment that I give each and every day, feel free to cash at me, The Hood Table 402. But yeah, you can find us on YouTube um, on The Hood Table Facebook, Twitter, IG, Stereo, and our website, thehoodtable.com. Stay safe, be blessed, remain vigilant, and as always, keep it hood. Bye.